Palaroga Shark Media. Hello and welcome to Palace Intrigue. I am your host, Mark Francis. The Telegraph took a look at the Kate Gate photography conspiracies. One theory making rounds on social media suggests that the princess herself snapped the photo used on Vogue's 2016 cover and then digitally added it to the family portrait. This idea was floated by Ruby Nordrit, the social media editor for the Daily Mirror, who shared the Vogue cover in a group chat, prompting agreement among her friends. It's just a theory and it could be wrong, Nordrit admitted. Elliot Higgins, founder of Bellingcat Investigative Research Agency, initially thought the Vogue theory was a joke when he saw it. He pointed out discrepancies between the images, such as reflections in the princess's eyes and differences in facial details. Conspiracy theorists seized upon the green leaves in the photo's background, arguing they couldn't be present so early in the year. However, horticultural experts dismissed this, citing the mild winter in the UK. Claims also surfaced regarding the authenticity of a photo showing the princess in a Range Rover. Some alleged the bricks in the background didn't align or that the princess silhouette was superimposed. The photographer behind the image confirmed it was genuine, dismissing the allegations as hysteria. The absence of the princess's wedding and engagement rings fueled divorce rumors. However, the practical explanations, including the rings being removed for surgery or not always worn at home, Another theory emerged on TikTok suggesting the children's outfits in the portrait were recycled from a previous event. However, insider sources confirmed the photo was taken recently in Windsor. As with most things, Watergate is now about Meghan Markle. The Sun looked at times the Sussex camp doctored photos. The Sussex camp faced criticism for taking a jab at Kate's photo editing, asserting this isn't a mistake Meghan would ever make. This remark from the couple's supporters comes amidst revelations that a previous Valentine's Day photo shared to announce Meghan's pregnancy with Lilibet was heavily altered. The Sussex's Valentine's Day snapshot, intended to celebrate Meghan's pregnancy, underwent significant digital modifications. The image shared widely showcased intricate edits, including a different backdrop featuring a giant willow tree. Photographer Mizan Harriman later acknowledged these alterations, stating, It's amazing what you can do with technology. These revelations reignite suspicions about other alleged edits involving the Sussexes, including a Christmas card photo reportedly adjusted by a photo agency. A source close to the Sussexes had remarked, if Harry and Meghan had ever encountered the same issue, they would have been annihilated. This isn't a mistake that Meghan would ever make. She has a keen eye and a freakish attention to detail. Harry's biographer, Angela Levin, criticized the Sussex camp, labeling them huge hypocrites. An opinion piece in the New York Times suggests the frenzy around Catherine, Princess of Wales, raises important questions that go well beyond the usual concerns of royal watches. Those questions stem from the extreme deference with which Catherine has previously been treated. In Britain, at least, compared with the thrashing bestowed on her sister-in-law, Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex. On the surface, the controversy over Catherine's photo in her absence may have nothing to do with Meghan. The way it's playing out, however, and the contrast with the way controversies about the Duchess play out are rooted in how we have been conditioned by the monarchy and its allies to think about the two of them. Their supposed rivalry has been manipulated for years now to generate nostalgia for social hierarchies of an idealized past. In January, when it was announced that Catherine had undergone surgery and would have an unusually lengthy hospital stay and recovery, the British press seemed to take the matter at face value. It repeated Kensington Palace's vague news releases, even though something out of the ordinary was clearly going on. When a paparazzi agency snapped a grainy photo of her in a car being driven by her mother, neither the quality newspapers nor any of the unabashedly aggressive tabloids ran the photos, out of respect, as one editor said in explaining his outlet's decision for her privacy whilst she recovers. Compare that with the decision last month by Britain's highest paid circulation newspaper, the Daily Mail, to publish exclusive paparazzi pictures of Meghan, a tiny figure barely visible in the grainy image she is described as flashing a smile. Catherine's situation might never have been questioned had William not taken the highly unusual step of pulling out a family memorial service at the last minute with no explanation besides that it was a personal matter. Imagine if it had been Harry or Meghan with a last-minute cancellation, even at a birthday party for a classmate of one of their kids. I think the British press might have called for a full-on assault 
of the couple's Montecito home. Palance Intrigue will be right back. Queen Camilla received a personalized Barbie doll, immersing herself in the playful world of miniature royalty during a reception at Buckingham Palace for International Women's Day and the Women of the World Festival bus tour. Queen Camilla was presented with the special doll. Amidst the festivities aboard the tour bus, which had been traveling across the United Kingdom to empower young women through workshops on resilience, mental health, and well being, Queen Camilla's joy was palpable as she received the Barbie doll from WOW organizers. Brilliant, you've taken about 50 years of my life, exclaimed Queen Camilla, visibly delighted by the thoughtful gift. Mattel's senior vice president and global head of dolls, Krista Berger, personally presented the doll, expressing delight that the Queen embraced the playful spirit of Barbie. The doll, specially crafted by Mattel, was adorned in a miniature blue dress and black cape, mirroring the Queen's attire by Fiona Clare and Amanda Wakely. We should all have a Barbie, quipped Queen Camilla, embracing the whimsical gesture. Apropos of nothing, the Independent answered the question, Who is the Marchioness of Colombdale? She is Lady Rose Hanbury, who sometimes appears in Google searches alongside words like affair, William and Prince. The Independent explains how Sarah Rose Colombdale, known for her impeccable style, has been a notable figure in royal circles for years, admired for her fashion choices at significant events like the wedding of the Prince and Princess of Wales. The former model now dedicates her time to managing the estate of her husband, David Rock Savage, 7th Marquess of Colmondale. They reside at Houghton Hall in Norfolk with their three children. Some conspiracy theorists noticed that during the broadcast of Queen Elizabeth II's funeral service, BBC made a notable decision while announcing the names and details of every arrival. The network unexpectedly fell silent when Lady Rose made her entrance alongside her husband. And there you have it. If you'd like to email us, our address is thepalacentric at gmail.com. Please follow us on Spotify, Apple, or your app of choice. I'm Mark Francis. My thanks to John McDermott. This is Palace Intrigue. Good times. <laughs>